AV network multicast tips. One of the common issues AV integrators or AV IT teams run into when adding multicast devices to their existing corporate network or AV network is that if the switches weren't properly configured for multicast traffic, you may run into many issues. Now this video is geared towards dedicated or isolated AV networks, but many of these tips apply for corporate networks as well. Small AV systems or conference rooms may get away with multicast not being properly configured on the switch, but issues may begin as soon as you start adding more devices or new technology to the AV system. It's a good idea to integrate a strong foundation, giving the AV system room for equipment growth and without wasting time on troubleshooting or redesigning of the AV system. Here are some of the symptoms you may experience when your switch is not set up for multicast traffic but is overwhelmed with multicast streams. First symptom, the switch gets flooded and needs to be rebooted. When this happens, data transfer slows down until it comes to a halt, due to each port on that VLAN being flooded with multicast streams, whether it's requesting it or not. If VLANs are not set up, all ports on that switch will be affected. Second symptom, communication errors in AV equipment and application logs or AV network switch logs, rapid buildup. Software applications working in coordination with other software or hardware will have a hard time keeping in constant communication and may alert or notify detected errors and log them for debugging purposes. Third symptom, table mic mute unmute state feedback issues. Conference rooms or boardrooms with push-to-talk mic controls with lights to indicate the mic mute-unmute states sometimes run into issues where it gets out of sync and a rebooting of the whole AV system is the only quick fix. Fourth symptom, Dante audio packet and clocking issues in Dante controller. Fifth symptom, some form of audio or video degradation on a networked AV system. I have a few tips that can help resolve these issues. Make sure you're using a managed switch. Make sure IGMP version 2 is enabled on the switch AV VLAN. Make sure IGMP snooping is enabled on the AV VLAN for audio and video traffic. Make sure you set a courier, which can be the VLAN IP address. Enable IGMP fast leave, which is also referred to as immediate leave. If you use IP PIM, use PIM sparse mode. For Cisco Catalyst switches, enable IP multicast routing. Another important thing to take into consideration is how much PoE reservation power you have available. When multicast transmitters or receivers powered by PoE are going offline intermittently or as you reboot other units, it's usually a sign that there's not enough power available on the switch for the amount of PoE devices present. If you have the option of adding a second modular power supply, that can be resolved, but the point is that there needs to be some planning involved before implementing multicast traffic and PoE powered multicast hardware in a Pro AV system. In a future video, I'll cover Pro AV multicast more in depth and will include commands and use software applications to analyze the network multicast traffic. Like, comment, subscribe.